Welcome back YouTube. Do you love salt and pepper chili squid? Because I absolutely adore it. Whenever I see it at a restaurant, I always, always order it. I'm going to show you the secrets of how to clean it, portion it, get it really crispy and pack it full of flavor. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do that. Let's go. Okay, start by chopping up three spring onions. We're going to do the green parts and the white parts separate. I hate it when people chuck out these green parts. Anyway, finally slice them just like that. And then we're going to move on to the white part of the spring onions or scallions, I guess, as they're called. Now you can use as little or as much garlic as you like. I've gone with about six, seven cloves here, all different kind of sizes. Finely chop these, add a bit of salt. This will help you. The trick to this dish is to do all the prep first. So we're just going to chop everything up first. And then the cooking of it is actually pretty quick. Now put this garlic into the bowl that's got the tops of the green onions. Same thing with your chilies. I'm using a bird's eye red Thai chilies. I've used three here. This gives you a lot of heat. So if you want less, just use less. Then we're going to do about two, three teaspoons of our five spice powder, and then about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. It's good to make sure you've got the right amount of seasoning. And this next step is optional, but I highly recommend it. It is molden smoked salt. If you can get this, get it. It adds a beautiful smoky flavor. Put a few pinches of that in. Now take about a teaspoon or so of this mixture and put it into your chopped garlic and chilies. And then you're gonna set both of these bowls aside in the fridge for later. Now we're gonna move on to our squid. Look at this beautiful alien looking thing. So you can buy these fresh frozen. I got this one frozen whole just so I can show you for this demo. Start with the bottom, grab the tentacles, and you can pull the guts out like this all in one go. Just like that. Mm, lovely. Then just slice off the kind of guts like this, or the entrails, pretty easy. And then I'm going to show you where the beak is. This is how the squid eats. It's just like on the opening of the mouth. Flip it over. You can see it right there. Squeeze it, and it pops out. It's hard. You can't eat it. Trust me, it's not nice. Take that whole thing out. Super easy. And then just slice off the head and the eyes. You don't really want to mess with that either. Then take the tentacles, splay them out like this, and just cut them into two. Helps with nice presentation. Work your way through the rest of the tentacles, and then with these long ones here, just cut them in half and set them aside. And then we'll move on to the main body of the squid. Now, this is super straightforward. You'll see a spine right here at the top. Sometimes you can pull it out all in one go, but I have a feeling this one's going to be broken because it was curled up when I got it. So there's a little bit of the spine. Looks like a big piece of plastic. Take your knife, lightly score the top of the skin, flip over the squid, and then you're going to take your knife and you're going to put it all the way through the body like this and open it up in one clean cut, just like this. Put it to the top and just follow your knife through, like a hot knife through butter. Now, when you open it up, you can see all the guts there and you can see that spine. See, I've just pulled it out in one go. You can use this as a shiv. It literally looks like a piece of plastic. I wouldn't recommend using it as a shiv. Okay, now put this under a tap, wash off all the guts, and you can see it's nice and clean. You can peel off any other loose bits. They come off super easy. And then what we're gonna do is grab the body and one of the fins, that loose little flap on the side, and it's just gonna pull straight off, and it's gonna take the skin off with it, most of it, just like that. Okay, now repeat this for the other side. Grab that fin and pull it straight off. You can slide your thumb under the skin just like this, and it's gonna come off all in one lovely piece. Plenty satisfaction. Okay, so for the fins, just put your thumb down on it, pull the skin and it will come straight off. If it's a bit sticky and slimy, you can use a kitchen towel like this too as well. Now flip these over to the side and to get those last little bits there, just take your knife, run it along and it will just scrape right off like this. Just scrape it towards the end. Lovely, lovely. And then I just like to cut off a little bit like this for a nice finish. I'm not really taking any meat off, I'm just taking the skin off there. Now there's one little bit of sinew I like to take off right here. That's just the connecting piece to the body. Super easy. You can either pull this off or just run your knife under like this. It comes off super, super easy. And just repeat the process with the other fin. Super easy. Pull off the skin like this. Trim off any other little bits you don't want. Take off the sinew with your knife. Peel that back. And you are done with this stage. Now we're going to move on to the body. This is the main bulk of it. What I like to do is just trim this little bit off here just for a nice finish. And then you want to crisscross, very lightly score this with your knife. Don't go all the way through. Just follow it through like this. Turn that around. And then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. And this is going to create like a diamond effect. The reason for this is when it cooks, it's going to curl up really nicely. And all those ridges are going to catch all the nice flavors. So cut down the middle just like that and then cut this into bite-sized pieces like this. A sharp knife is your friend here. For me, bite-sized pieces like this are perfect for this dish. Okay, and then we're gonna move on to the fins and we're gonna do the same thing, just crisscross them. Don't score all the way through, lightly go over the top. 
flip them around and do the same thing and cut these into bite-sized pieces as well. Should get about three pieces up here. And there you have a beautiful cleaned portioned squid. Put over half of your five spice salt mixture over this, mix it through, marinate that and set that aside for about 10 minutes. Then what we're gonna do is move on to the cornstarch. This is the secret to get it nice and crispy. So put it into like a fair amount of cornstarch like this. I'll give you measurements in the recipe. Really squeeze and scrunch the cornstarch onto the squid like this. Work your way through until you've done them all. Then get some frying oil to about 350. I've used canola here. And then work in batches and start putting your squid in slowly. This will not take long to cook, like two minutes max. You can see it's already crisping up. It's looking delicious. Not bubbling as much is the secret to let you know when your fried food is almost, almost done. So just work in batches like this until you have fried off all that squid. Look at that beautiful golden squid. Okay, move that pan to the side and we're gonna put a new pan on the stove, ideally a wok, but I don't have one. Ladle in some of that hot fryer oil and then fry off your chili and garlic. Watch out, if you're not used to this, it's gonna burn the back of your throats and eyes. Saute that off about a minute or two until it's crispy. Add in your squid, mix that through, no more than about 20 seconds max. Give it a mix, a couple of tosses like that, and then you go, it's done, get ready to plate. Spread this out over the plate nicely so you can see all the different parts of the squid, especially the tentacles. And then you're gonna add those lovely crispy bits right at the bottom of all that garlic. Put on a bit more smoked salt, a nice wedge of lime, and there you have one of the most amazing dishes on the planet. Salt, pepper, chili, squid, my friends. Enjoy this with a cold one or three. So there we have it, friends. A beautiful, crispy, chili squid. All right, let's get stuck in. Get a bit of lime juice. These are my favorite bits, the tentacles. This is like pure comfort food. Got everything on there. If you want it spicier, you can get it hotter than this. Mm. Highly, highly, highly recommend this dish. If you're afraid of like taking down the large squid like that, you can get them already cleaned and you can get the baby ones. That works really well too. Right, if you like this video and if you like some of the other videos we've been doing, do me a favor, please like, comment and subscribe so we can grow this channel. I really appreciate all you subscribers who have already subscribed and have been sending me messages and cooking some dishes. Super, super excited and happy about that so we can build a nice community of all us fellow cooks. So yeah, super, super grateful and thank you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. We're gonna make some even more tasty treats. Just in time for lunch. See you later.